This is what's called the cloisters. Look at that. We call it that. And then that curls round and meets up. At the far end. Here. Pull up the cathedral in there. And this is the way from the main lawn to the way that from the main lawn to the orchard. And as you can see, it's a slopey place. And at the bottom, right at the bottom, you can't even see it. It's not just beyond where you can see there. It's further down than that. And uh, lovely. This is full full of orchids in the uh, in the early summer. And one thing that I really want to show people, although it's not in its healthiest at the moment, because for some reason. This summer, it's not been good for trees and things. <coughs> Here's for that hornbeam. Double stemmed, double trunked hornbeam. Beautiful. Unusual as well, double stemmed. Well, I've uh, been busy. Uh, I've cleared this of weed and herbaceous, dead herbaceous stuff. I've only got as far as there. Obviously, that peony will need to be cut down. And then what I did, what I'm doing now, is I'm clearing this path. So you can make it up to the house. It was quite overgrown. There was only about what <laughs> enough to walk, but it wasn't that wide. So uh, yeah, that's what I'm on now. And then, well, I'll see if I've got time to strim afterwards. So. I've been here half a day so far. Yeah, puss, puss, puss. Oh. Yeah. And now. If we have a, a clear path, look at that. And that's how much has come off it. So that's that done. Uh, while I was doing it, I was reminded um, of another gardener's uh, issue. Well, an issue that um, I know quite a few people who get, and that is acid reflux through you know, you spend all day um, in all kinds of bizarre positions. Oh, you wouldn't believe some of them. Um, you know, with your stomach all bent up and doubled. I mean, you know, working physically makes you hungry, so you eat, and then within minutes, you're bent over double. And I don't think it's good for you, but that's, that's one of the hidden issues that gardeners face, or some gardeners, anyway. Uh, along with, you know, the aches that just doing this thing does. I mean, I don't think it's not all about how old you are because I've been in, you know, I get home from work. Uh, I've been doing this 20 years. I get home from work and I, you know, even say 20 years ago, I was getting home and uh, hello, puss. <laughs> yeah, hello. That's, that's the cat 
the cat moved in while the people were out one day and has never left. Um, yeah, so like you know, aching shoulders, or you do um, you know, uh, use secateurs for hours on end. I mean, jobs you do, you aren't supposed to do. You know, I mean, if you hear the all the uh, the advice, don't dig for more than two hours. You know, well sometimes I dig for eight hours. Sometimes I've raked for eight hours. Um, one year, I dug every day, all day, every day for seven weeks. Uh, I probably shouldn't have. I probably should have said, look, I can't do this all day. It's just not fair. No one should have to do that. Um, but, you know, you just get on with it, don't you? So, you know, I, I, I live, I used to live when I did hedge cutting. I used to live with, with an a you know, painful, I, I'd lose weekends. Uh, um, quite, quite a lot of weekends, actually, through, basically, it's just that, oh, you can't be bothered to move the ladders all the way around the other side of the hedge and set up just to cut a few wispy bits. So what you do, you reach over, overreach, that's it. Just do it the once, just the one thing you overreach for and in between your shoulder blades, you wake up in the night and there's this pain. It's got some squeezing pain where your shoulders are you know, going crazy. And that's it. So yeah, th there's a whole load of things that people don't actually aren't aware of with what you do. So hopefully in, in taking this around, I'm going to document it so people can see. Okay, that's that one. And uh, see you in a bit. Yeah. Yeah. Look at you. Hey. Been all lonely. I noticed you came back last night and ate all your chicken. Yeah.